What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading for all sides, Cap Two Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Cap Two Sag, everybody in between. Love you guys. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Single mom with two kids, so it really helps support a single mom and one of her income streams. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So, I uh, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So, one message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So, you have to plug it to your own specific life. And situation and story however it resonates and applies for you um the channel message i received today was um and i can't be on here too long because my daughter has an appointment today and i had to take care of some things for my son earlier so that's why i'm just making it on here but anyway so the channel message i received was um a scorpio masculine um that has been gossiping behind the scenes of heard of fire sign fems back um, saying that he is in a relationship with her, a very unconventional relationship with her. Um, it is a huge ass lie. Um, I heard they were never in a relationship and never even had um, sexual relations and it's about to seriously backfire on him in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. I don't know who this dude is, but um, he needs to quit gossiping and that's just the truth. Um, what's the point in gossiping? Hashtag facts, the same, the same. And whoever this dude is, I heard he never even had sexual relations with her or even dated her or was even in a relationship with her, unconventional or conventional. Um, why he feels the need to keep codependent and energetically latched onto her, I have no idea. I heard it's about to backfire on him in a huge way. He's very, very, very much in the public eye and so is she. He's very, very, very much in the public eye, and so is she. So he's very much in the public eye, and so is his fire sign fan. Probably for clout, notoriety, fame, or money. Or one or two plus of those things. But there's a reason he is gossiping. He's not doing saying it to her face, because I heard they're not even, they've never even been in a relationship. And never even had any kind of sexual encounter. So, I mean, not even like a one-night stand or a um, hit it or quit it or or something like that. And I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm just telling you hashtag real life. So, I mean, it, it wasn't even a fling. <laughs> so, why he feels the need to um, go behind her back and tell people that they're together, I don't know. That doesn't sound right to me. If you're not together, you're not together. If you never slept together, you never slept together. If you had a one night stand, you did or you didn't. If you had a fling, you did or you didn't. In this case, it never even happened. Never even happened. Never even happened is what I heard. And we have the sexual sacral chakra. The, the sexual sacral chakra. The sex never happened. The fling never happened. The one night stand never happened. The unconventional relationship is not even currently in the energetic space because they never even was together romantically or sexually with the sexual sacral chakra. And that's just the truth. Um, whoever this person is, it's a Scorpio mask, but I feel you got, I feel whoever this is for, this channel message is for, I think he is gossiping and um, to you. I think he's gossiping to you about this fire sign film. Uh, there's a reason I'm getting this in, or it might be him I'm pulling in. Maybe he watches my channel. I don't know. There's a lot of you guys on here. So it might be him I'm pulling in, or it could be you he's gossiping to. You have to plug yourself into the story and situation, however you resonate. But how that resonates, whether it's you he's gossiping to or him, um, it's not true. Uh, Scorpio Masculine, if you're watching my channel, dude, why don't you shut your trapper and focus on the important things in life, like money making, business making. Um, building wealth and stability and um, loving on child or children if you have child or children. I didn't hear you did. Um, the, 
the important things in life, like in a non pedophile way, like in a healthy copacetic way, as far as children. Um, focus on the positive things in life, the good things in life, um, moving to better yourself, education, things like that, not gossiping all across community or God knows where, or I heard you're heavily in the public eye and so is she. So it could be social media platforms or it could be in the 3D universe in the community or both. But how that resonates, it's not worth the gossip and uh, the lies because they always backfire. The truth always gets revealed. Whoever you are, you're very immature, sir. I don't care if you're 25, 35, 45, 55, or 65, you're very immature. Another Scorpio and a, uh, and an earth sign is getting a huge wake up call. Another Scorpio and an earth sign is getting a huge wake up call. So another Scorpio, uh, sir, man, Scorpio, and a, um, um, and an air sign, and an air sign, and an earth sign and air sign. So a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is getting a huge wake up calls. I'm serious. It's not worth the lies, the slander, the gossip. Um, sir, I think you were in for clout, fame, and notoriety. Obviously, she's not. I heard y'all were never even together like that. Never even dated, conventional or not conventional. You were never slept together. You never had a one night stand. Never hit it and quit it. Leave her alone, man. Just leave her alone. A fire sign is getting a huge wake up call, too. Fire sign's getting a huge wake up call, too. So, Aries Leo side's getting a huge wake up call, call, too. I mean, I'm serious. Victory reversed. There's no victory, man. No victory in this situation because you were never even together. I don't know why you are spouting falsities when it didn't even happen. It doesn't make a lick of sense to me. And I hope it doesn't make a lick of sense to whoever you're gossiping to. Um, and I'm serious because there's a reason I'm pulling this in. This is cray, 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 cray. And I'm just being serious. Okay, so number 28 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 28, victory, rever victory reversed. For one Scorpio masculine, his online social media platform business is about to tank. For one, he's about to be terminated. Not a, not a wrongful termination. So there's at least two Scorpio and masculines in the universe doing this. At least two. Um, and they're gossiping, saying they're with this fire sign fin, this Aries Leo side fin. It's not freaking true, man. Why, why I pull crap in like this, I don't know. But it is what it is, man. Um, this is the current interject space we're in. People need to close their freaking gabbers when it doesn't matter. And that's just the damn truth. Focus on important things. Like trying to help the planet in positive ways. Like trying to fix important problems in the universe. Like education like moving to grow and manifest yourself to be a better person if you're stuck in a toxic community like renovating homes and investments and money and businesses not being codependent on somebody else and it's starting through gossip and lies that didn't even occur this is crazy this dude needs a reality tv show Except I don't think, I wouldn't view that shit because it annoyed the hell out of me. And that's just the truth. I heard he's, uh, one of them's about to, their business is about to tank into the ground in a huge way. And one, so they have an online social media platform that has, they garner revenue and income and money from it. That's for one of Scorpio masculines, low vibrational Scorpio masculine. They don't treat people, honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, or values. The other one. Uh, they work out in 3D. I heard they're about to get terminated soon. Not a wrongful termination. So no victory. They're about to lose their job. Not a wrongful termination. So no discrimination. No um, workplace violence, I'm presuming. You know, there's something in the universe that is warranting this. Um, and then one online social media platform business is about to tank. It's about to go down. So money is about to go down. No victory. No victory. Well, they shouldn't have not lied. I heard they, they didn't even freaking have, they didn't even have like a one night stand with this person. I, I'm assuming maybe not even kissing. I mean, what? Nothing. Nothing ever occurred. Period. Nothing ever occurred. Period. 
I heard nothing ever occurred, period. So not even a kiss or a hug? I mean, what? Oh, my Lord, this is too much. Just too much. Let me pull one more, and then I'll close it. Spirit messages you have reflected. The sun reversed. Number one could be very significant. Number one's life. Number one. Um, so no happiness. And I heard don't take the bottom. We had goddess and moon reverse. So number one reverse. The sun. No happiness. They're, they're, one of them's business is about to go down because of their lies. They're lying. Why? Why latch yourself onto the... It sounds like they're trying to latch themselves onto the success of somebody else. Or the money of somebody else. Or the clout, fame, or status of somebody else. Um, why in the hell are they lying? It doesn't make sense. Cut the cord. Go find somebody that loves and appreciates you, Scorpio Masculine. And that is well suited for you, sir. Because apparently this fire sign feminist is not interested in you. And it's just clear as day. So why don't you, sir, if you're watching, hopefully this is good advice. Um... And hopefully you can, of course, you can choose to take the advice or leave it. I'm not a licensed counselor. But I'm a person that's lived a lot of life. So you can take it or leave it. Why don't you go find somebody if you, tr you truly want somebody. And obviously, it's, I'm thinking for clout, fame, or status. Go find somebody who appreciates your ass. This person's not interested in you romantically. I heard nothing ever happened. Not a kiss, not a hug, not a one-night stand. You didn't even get a taste of the cow, of the goodies. You haven't even got a taste of the the goodies. Go find somebody that wants to be with you like that. That I mean, hopefully on the same level as you, that can grow and manifest and um um themselves in a proper manner on the same level as you. Uh, one, you work out in the three D. One, you have an online social media business platform that garners income. So just, you know, okay. They're not interested. Go find somebody that is. Hopefully that's on the same level as you. I don't know why you're so attached to this person. But it's not healthy, I'll tell you that. There's good, the messages in the cards are clear as day. There's going to be no victory. You're not going to be happy when you lose your job, sir. Because that's upcoming in the universe for one. And when your business goes down, sir. And it sounds like all over lies. This is like seriously, de serious Decepticon energy. But it was you that was being deceptive. You were the Decepticon. But why you lied about being with this fire sign fem, I have no clue. It doesn't make sense to me. I heard you said, I heard that you are telling people that you're in an unconventional relationship with her. Well, let's think about it this way. One this fire sign fin might like an unconventional relationship. We don't know. But if she doesn't, and people know she's loyal, stable, grounded, dependable, and she only wants one person and one committed person, I'm not saying she does, but if she is that way, don't you think it makes you look like a fool? If you're going around saying things like that and people know her and know she's not like that, someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge back-up call. I mean, I'm serious. And I feel that might be the case for at least one of you guys. I think you're dealing with a very loyal, stable, grounded, dependable, reliable fire sign fem. Like, a, that has earth in her chart, or exhibits earth sign energy. She only wants one person. She's loyal. She's dependable. She's reliable. But yet, you're going around saying you're in an unconventional relationship with you, with her, but yet nothing's ever happened. That doesn't make sense for the people that really know her. If anybody needs to hear that, serious Decepticon energy. It's about to backfire on you, sir. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.